Hi! Hi everyone, welcome to chapel on this beautiful day. Today's theme is all about blessing and joy. Also during this chapel, we will share recordings of a few student testimonies that relate to chapel a few weeks ago, finding purpose in difficult times. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance, let your perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. that has brought me a lot of joy um, is by asking the Lord to put people on my heart to encourage. So whether that's writing letters or a text of encouragement um, or a verse that's also been on my heart to share, whether that's um, a friend or a family member or even like role models or teachers that have impacted me and my faith and just letting them know that I'm thinking about them and I love them and that I'm grateful for them. And now a word from Leah. Finding peace in our problems. We know that God is our ultimate source of peace, but it can be really easy for us to forget that and to just move along, go along in our daily lives, forgetting that that's where, that he's where our peace will truly come from. And during this time, I think it's important for us to um, consider and, and remember constantly that God is where our peace is going to come from and it's not going to come from chasing after social media during this time or um, or Netflix or um, coming up with creative ways to meet with friends, although these are okay things, but that's not where our peace is going to come from. Um, so Acts 27, I'm sorry, Acts 17, 26 and 27 says, from one man he made all the nations, that they should inhabit the whole earth, and he marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he is not far from any one of us. 
And this verse, I think, is important for us to remember because it reminds us that God has placed us in these times, not because he wants to harm us because he doesn't want to harm us, but because he wants us to look to him. And he wants us to humble ourselves and seek him and find him and be close to him. So I just encourage you that during this time that you would just remember that God is our ultimate source of peace and that he's not far from any one of us. And we can go and find him by getting in the word, by getting in prayer. And um, and God is not wanting us to suffer, but he's allowing us to suffer so we can look to him um, instead of to the things of this world and instead of to ourselves. Let's look to God. Jeremiah 17, verses 7 through 8. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out to its root by the stream. Hey guys, now you may be thinking I'm about to say something, it's a little sad because I am sitting in the baseball dugout, but you know what, God's, God's shown up in so many different ways over this quarantine. Um, I've had so many friends, family, extended family members reach out to me and just start praying for me. I feel like I've been blessed in a different way instead of on the baseball field during this time. And it's bringing me a different kind of joy. So this time is definitely showing it's ups, uh, and God's showing up for me for sure. And now a word from Garrett. Mr. Wiener asked me to talk about how we find peace and purpose in the midst of pain and suffering. Uh, and I think the key to this is looking to God's character, specifically two aspects of it. One, God is faithful, and two, God is redemptive. Scripture talks quite clearly about God's faithfulness. Acts 17, 27 through 28 says, though he is not far from any one of us, for in him we live and move and exist. There's a famous monk named Brother Roger, and he has a prayer I quite like that uh, starts out, God of consolation, even when we feel nothing of your presence, still you are there. Your presence is invisible, but your Holy Spirit is always within us. Oftentimes in these uh, times of trial and tribulation, uh, it's hard to see where God is in the midst of all of it. Um, but these, these uh, passages I just read remind us quite clearly that he is not far from any one of us, and even when we feel nothing of his presence, still he is there. Scripture also talks quite clearly about God's redemptiveness. Isaiah 61, 3, To all who mourn in Israel, he will give a crown of beauty for ashes, a joyous blessing instead of mourning, festive praise instead of despair. In their righteousness, they shall be like great oaks that the Lord has planted for his own glory. Uh, oftentimes in these situations, it's hard for us to see how God can make the beauty from the ashes, take the, the ruins of our life and make them into something great. This summer, I heard a spoken word piece. Um, I was pretty weird overall, but there was one line that really stuck with me. It's, don't be afraid, just believe. There is nothing I cannot fix. Uh, in these times we say, God, how are you gonna use this? Just believe, don't be afraid. There is nothing he cannot fix. Uh, to find our peace and our purpose in these difficult times, we have to believe, put our trust in God, and trust that, that He is redemptive and that He is faithful.
Hi everyone, so I know a lot of you are probably sitting at home and a little bummed out because you can't really connect with people outside, but another thing you can do is take this time to connect with God. I mean, I know some of you were complaining about how you can't, you know, talk or have prayer with God and use this time to get into the Bible, but now you have this opportunity because of this whole virus issue. But So take refuge that God is with us no matter what and that he loves you greatly and we'll get through this. Timothy, let's pray. God Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, you are good. Whether we see your goodness or not, you are so good. You have the perfect plan. Thank you for the opportunity to be reminded how to have joy in these challenging times. Remind us of how good you are and that we can trust you because you are trustworthy. Help us to use these times at home to draw closer to you, to see your goodness even in the storms. God, we thank you for loving us and for being trustworthy. Bless today and each moment that we are in your word and in prayer. Heal this land and give us hearts and minds that fully trust you. In Jesus' name we pray. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord.